back again with another movie review and if you click the thumbnail you're probably here to hear my thoughts on the super mario bros movie i will keep this pretty quick it was awesome i really enjoyed it i'm gonna keep it spoiler free as much as possible as well maybe a couple things at the end but i'll let you guys know about that one I am a huge Super Mario Brothers fan. I was fortunate enough for my mom to be able to get us the original Super Mario Brothers when it came out with Duck Hunt in the game. I believe in like 86, 87, 88, somewhere in that range. We were pretty young and pretty little, but we grew up playing Mario. And there's just been so many versions of the game. I mean, Mario Brothers is just such a part of pop culture, but especially from my time. I mean, he's, I guess they've just lingered around ever since then because there's always been new versions of them that have come out. And Nintendo just does really well by that property, and they keep it pretty close to the vest. With the exception of the other Mario Brothers movie, which uh, did come out, I believe, in 93, with John Leguizamo, amongst others. And I'm not going to lie, i seen that one in the theater. Me, my brother, and my grandma, so excited. And I still loved it when it came out. I'm well aware that it's not really a good movie at all. I'm going to have to probably rewatch it, go back. Maybe I'll do a, a retro review for that one in hindsight but at the time it came out i just love mario so much that i really did enjoy it but i'm aware that it was not really that good and i mean it didn't really remind me very much of mario at all other than kind of the way they looked and what their names were and a couple other things but like all the characters none of them really looked like what they were supposed to when we get into this new one my hat's off to you whoever did all the animations i think it was uh, illumination studios that does or has done like minions in the past and this was just Mario Brothers were built to be animated, and this looked so good. It looked so smooth, so crystal clear. I actually was lucky enough to see it in 3D. Didn't even plan on that. Just kind of went in and signed up for that movie, and then it was in 3D, and that was actually awesome. 3D kind of throws me off sometimes in some movies, but this one, again, the way the animation style was, the coloring was awesome. Bowser is coming. Together, we are going to stop that monster. Cinematography for an animated movie was just ridiculous, and I just really, really enjoyed it. All the characters, all the voice acting. Okay, so I know there had been some discussion in the trailers and the time leading up to the actual release about some of the casting, and specifically Chris Pratt being Mario, and they're like, well, how is he going to do that voice? Then they had the trailer, and he didn't really have the Italian accent, and don't worry, they take care of that pretty quick out of the gates and let you know what's going on with that one. It's completely and utterly plausible. And I really dug it. All of the voice acting in this one, I think it was really, really good. Like, for famous people, and I did know most of the actors and actresses that were going to be in there. I mean, you had Anna Taylor-Joy, you had Chris Pratt, you had Charlie Day, Jack Black. I mean, the list goes on and on. This was Seth Rogen. <laughs> this was so star-packed and studded. But I didn't really see them in the character. You know, after the initial shock, a little bit of hearing their voice, and like, okay, nope, that's Luigi. Oh, okay, that's Bowser. Okay, I bought it, and it was just awesome. Like, they're characters. Like, they're seemingly the actors' personalities kind of lined up with them uh, a little bit anyway. I'm mostly thinking of, like, Jack Black and Seth Rogen. But they were awesome. The voice acting was really good. The characters, I thought, were fantastic. What I really appreciate about this one is actually the runtime. Like, this is, like, 90 minutes. It's a quick hour and a half could it have been a little bit longer i would have sat there and enjoyed watching more absolutely but i really appreciated about this one was that it didn't it didn't drag like there wasn't an overabundance of story in my opinion you might see some reviews and uh some things that people didn't like saying oh well maybe they could have explained more about this or gotten more into the characters here i thought they did a fantastic job of setting the scene these are our characters this is a little bit of story about their different relationships their dynamics you know some of their struggles that they have and then wham bam we're on to the actual quest we're on to the story it was so cool i really appreciated that the speed there wasn't really slow times for me and you just like yeah we're in it we're in it for mario this is a mario brothers movie let's, let's go ahead and check this out let's see the adventure and they get right to it a couple other things that i really thought they did well was this is based on a video game that's a side scroll of a you know little plumber jumping up and down and hitting things like how do you make that into a movie and how do you also show some you know similarities to the video game and they had some super creative ways of throwing back so many different things from all the video games or at least the ones i'm familiar with you know if it's a training montage over here if it's just easter eggs as you're walking through a market here if it's a brief overview of the whole mushroom kingdom or whatever the universe that they're in there it was just so neat there was so many easter eggs so many easter eggs and callbacks that I only caught a couple of them. Like, I'll go see this again, and I will definitely purchase it when it comes out, just so I can keep watching it to catch the little ones. 
But it was so cool as you're going through the story and you start to see, oh my God, I know this little character that hopped out of there. Oh, that's that little fish thing that does this. Oh, this is this super power up. And it's, it was just so, there was a, there's a lot of nostalgia that definitely kicked in there. So I might be a little more biased if you weren't a huge Mario fan. Of course, if you're not a huge Mario fan, I don't know why you're going to go see a Mario Brothers movie. But honestly, you don't have to be a Mario Brothers fan. I think it helps just because you're going to get a lot more of those Easter eggs and the inside jokes. But I think you could walk into that blind. I think kids will love it that have no experience with Mario. And the theater that we were in definitely had a good bit of kids, and they were all seemingly loving it. And the adults were, because, again, I thought it was funny. There were a lot more adult humor jokes in there that I don't think the kids are going to catch. But the adults do, and they're awesome. I actually think it was just so much more well thought out than I thought it would be. Just with my experience with, I guess, some animated movies recently, I haven't really enjoyed a lot of the more recent animated movies. There are some out there that are really good, but I do tend to like a little bit of the older ones. It's probably because I'm getting old, and those are the ones I grew up with. But this one... I have no complaints about, honestly, other than it could have been longer and so I could watch more. I'm so excited about the future, though. I hope this movie makes a ton of money, and I'm pretty sure it will because it was awesome. But I want to see where this goes. I mean, they could have sequels where it's just like Luigi's Mansion. There's a couple little uh, hints and nods in there that really lend itself to that. I mean, they could do all the different villains. I mean, there was a little bit of King Boo, I'm pretty sure we've seen in there. Bowser is just awesome. At there's just so many things I could do with this. And all the characters I really enjoyed. Like, I didn't feel like anything was being forced down my throat about, oh, I should like this person, or I should like that one, or we got to make sure that we treat this character with... No, it was just a straightforward adventure. Everybody played their parts really well. Everybody got their moment to shine, so to speak. And, oh, the nostalgia factor was high, but I'm just thinking about once some certain super things happen, it's awesome. You know what I mean when you get there. But I'm going to go ahead and say out of 10 superstars, I'm going to go ahead and give this one, I'm going to go ahead, you know, I'm going to say a 9. I'm going to give this one a 9. Got a high rewatchability factor. I will rewatch this one a good bit. Uh, the acting is, the voice acting is really good. The animation's fantastic. It's funny. And I would just watch a lot of it. I mean, and also, if you're a fan of Mario Kart, you're going to be a fan of a big chunk of this movie. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Have you checked this one out already? And if so, what did you think? Or are you really excited to see it like I was and also coming out? I'm very happy. So let me know in the comment section. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go to that subscribe button if you would. That'd be fantastic. And as always, you're awesome. Peace out. Okay.